Ralph Fiennes English actor and film producer Ralph Nathaniel Twizzleton Wycombe Fiennes is an English actor, film producer, and director. He graduated from RADA in 1985. A Shakespeare interpreter, Fiennes excelled on stage at the Royal National Theatre before having further success at the Royal Shakespeare Company. Born, December 22, 1962, age 61 years, Ipswich, United Kingdom. Spouse, Alex Kingston, M. 1993-1997. Nephews, Hero Finds Tiffin, Titan, Nathaniel Finds Tiffin, Nathaniel Finds. Upcoming movie, 28 years later. Siblings, Joseph Finds, Martha Finds, Jacob Finds, Magnus Finds, Sophie Finds, Michael Emery. Actor Ralph Nathaniel Twizzleton Wycombe Fiennes was born on December 22, 1962 in Suffolk, England, to Jennifer and Mary Aline Lash, a novelist, and Mark Fiennes, a photographer. He is the eldest of six children. Four of his siblings are also in the arts, Martha Fiennes, a director, Magnus Fiennes, a musician, Sophie Fiennes, a producer, and Joseph Fiennes, an actor. He is of English, Irish, and Scottish origin. A noted Shakespeare interpreter, he first achieved success on stage at the Royal National Theatre. Fiennes first worked on screen in 1990 and then made his film debut in 1992 as Heathcliff in Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, 1992, opposite Juliette Binoche. 1993 was his breakout year. He had a major role in the controversial Peter Greenaway film The Baby of Macon, 1993, with Julia Ormond, which was poorly received. Later that year he became known internationally for portraying the amoral Nazi concentration camp Commandant de Mongoeth in Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List, 1993. For this, he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor. He did not win, but did win the Best Supporting Actor BAFTA Award for the role, as well as Best Supporting Actor honors from numerous critics groups, including the National Society of Film Critics, and the New York, Chicago, Boston, and London Film Critics Associations. His portrayal as goth also earned him a spot on the American Film Institute's list of top 50 film villains. To look suitable to represent Goeth, Fines gained weight, but he managed to shed it afterwards. In 1994, he portrayed American academic Charles Van Doren in Quiz Show, 1994. In 1996, he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance as Count Almasy the World War II epic romance, and another Best Picture winner, Anthony Mingelis The English Patient, 1996, in which he starred with Kristen Scott Thomas. He also received BAFTA and Golden Globe nominations, as well as two Screen Actors Guild, SAG, award nominations, one for Best Actor and another shared with the film's ensemble cast. Since then, Fines has been in a number of notable films, including Strange Days, 1995, Oscar and Lucinda, 1997, The Animated The Prince of Egypt, 1998, Istvan Saboes Sunshine, 1999, Neil Jordan-directed films The End of the Affair, 1999, and The Good Thief, 2002, Red Dragon, 2002, Made in Manhattan, 2002, The Constant Gardener, 2005, In Bruges, 2008, The Reader, 2008, co-starring Kate Winslet, Catherine Bigelow's Oscar-winning The Hurt Locker, 2008, Clash of the Titans, 2010, Mike Newell's Screen Adaptation of Charles Dickens' Great Expectations, 2012, with Helena Bonham Carter and Jeremy Irvine, and Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel, 2014. He is also known for his roles in major film franchises such as the Harry Potter film series, 2005-2011, in which he played the evil Lord Voldemort. His nephew, Hero Finds Tiffin played Tom Riddle, the young Lord Voldemort, in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, 2009. Ralph also appears in the James Bond series, in which he has played M, starting with the 2012 film Skyfall, 2012. In 2011, Fines made his directorial debut with his film adaptation of Shakespeare's tragedy political thriller Coriolanus, 2011, in which he also played the title character, 
opposite Gerard Butler and Vanessa Redgrave. Fiennes has won a Tony Award for playing Prince Hamlet on Broadway. In 2015, Fiennes played a music producer in Luca Guadagnino's A Bigger Splash, 2015, starring opposite Tilda Swinton and Matthias Skinnerts, and in 2016, Fiennes starred in Joel and Ethan Cohen's Hail, Caesar. 2016, since 1999, Fiennes has served as an ambassador for UNICEF UK. Family Spouse Alex Kingston, September 5, 1993, to October 28, 1997, divorced. Children No children Parents Jennifer and Mary Aline Lash Mark Fines Relatives Sibling, sibling Martha Fines, sibling Magnus Fines, sibling Sophie Fines, sibling Joseph Fines, sibling. Jacob Fines, sibling. Alberic Fines, aunt or uncle. Alice Fines, cousin. Ranulf Fines, cousin. Hero Fines Tiffin, niece or nephew. Trademarks. Rich mellifluous voice. Often plays mysterious characters with equally mysterious pasts. Often plays menacing, sadistic villains. Trivia. When he noticed that children watching the filming were scared of him as Lord Voldemort in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, 2005, he knew he had the character right. Eighth cousin of King Charles III. His nephew, Hero Finds Tiffin, played the 11-year-old version of his character Tom Riddle aka Lord Voldemort in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, 2009. Fiennes was reluctant to take the role of Lord Voldemort in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, 2005, in a television interview on AMC's Shootout, 2003, November 20, 2005, he claimed to have been unimpressed with the previous three Harry Potter films. Fiennes was apparently nonplussed at the idea of appearing in the fourth film of a series and stated that he had never bought into the world of Harry Potter. Family members urged him to take the role, while other friends counseled against it. He eventually changed his mind after Goblet of Fire director Mike Newell showed Fine's pre-production conceptions of what the character of Voldemort might look like. The little kid in me that likes to dress up and be bad went yeah. I want to do it. Filmed his role as Lord Voldemort in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, 2005, in only two days. Quotes It's Rafe, actually. When children were introduced to Lord Voldemort, they looked suitably terrified. Which gave me great gratification. As an actor, a part of you expects to be looked at. A part of you wants to be looked at. But when I'm playing a part, in my imagined world, I feel I'm not me. I may be using bits of me, but I love the sense that I'm being someone else. Awards are like applause, and every actor likes to hear applause. The process of making a film is a mad lottery. Whenever you get the feeling that you're making something special, you have to quickly squash it because you are so often proved wrong. On The Avengers, 1998, I think it's a badge of honor to have a real flop on your resume. I tried not to play Voldemort over the top, and then I realized there's no other way. I veer away from trying to understand why I act. I just know I need to do it. The people I consider successful are so because of how they handle their responsibilities to other people, how they approach the future, people who have a full sense of the value of their life and what they want to do with it. I call people successful not because they have money or their business is doing well but because, as human beings, they have a fully developed sense of being alive and engaged in a lifetime task of collaboration with other human beings, their mothers and fathers, their family, their friends, their loved ones the friends who are dying, the friends who are being born. Success is all about being able to extend love to people. Not in a big, capital letter sense, but in the everyday. Little by little, task by task, gesture by gesture, word by word. On the death of Natasha Richardson, I cannot imagine a world without her wit, her love, her mischief, her great, great talent and her gift for living. I loved her very much. She was a supreme friend. I shall miss her deeply. On filming Coriolanus, 2011, in Belgrade, Serbia, I needed an important and big capital city, and I didn't want it to be Rome, but any contemporary city. 
Given this is a modern interpretation of Shakespeare, Rome just wasn't the suitable location because Rome of today is reminiscent of a mighty state like the USA or Russia, and I wanted it to be something different. I've come to realize here in Belgrade that a lot of history is reflected through buildings. This is a capital city with a great history. I have been to Bucharest and Zagreb, but Belgrade has always been the first choice for me. Initially, I was attracted by Belgrade's spirit and later I realized this was an ideal filming location. On filming Coriolanus, 2011, in Belgrade, Serbia, I am lucky to have a great crew from Serbia and the UK, and I've been working on the script with John Logan for almost three and a half years. On filming Coriolanus, 2011, in Belgrade, Serbia, you really do have fantastic actors here in Serbia, as well as a long theatre tradition which is probably why it's now even stronger than that of London.